And vote for a better forecast this weekend. Actually, I don't think you're going to get a better one than, no. than what we have. I, there is some rain. But there's also a lot of sunshine coming in, too. In fact, Saturday is the better day of the weekend. But Sunday isn't that bad either. And I'll convince you, hopefully convince you, of why I think that. So we do have rain showers. I'll be totally upfront about that. That's coming in a majority of the morning hours of Sunday. But when we add everything up, a tenth of an inch to half an inch of rainfall, that's basically what we got today. And it's also coming through when a lot of us are asleep anyway from 2 o'clock in the morning through about 9 o'clock in the morning on Sunday. So if you do have early morning plans on Sunday, just delay it to about 10 or 1030. And you should be good to go. In fact, if you're headed down to Southie for the St. Patrick's Day Parade, most of the showers, again, should wrap up just before the parade is beginning at about 10 to 1030 or so. And then we start to see peaks of gold, as in the sun beaming through. So it should be a nice and dry day, dry afternoon, and warm, too, with highs in the 50s. Right now, we're at 41 degrees in Boston, 39 across the North Shore and South Shore as well. In Norwood, we're at about 44 there, and Canton's also right around 42. Bedford's at 41 degrees right now. And temperatures for the next couple of hours will maintain in the upper 30s to low 40s, and then tomorrow morning. As we get our Saturday morning kicked off, temps drop down to about 37 in Boston and in Fitchburg and Concord, too. And with plenty of sunshine tomorrow, we are right back into the middle of warmth. In fact, we're about 10 degrees warmer tomorrow than we were today. We're sitting at 41 degrees right now. We're 55 in Bedford and Norwood tomorrow. Taunton's also at 55 degrees across Cape Ann, too. We're likely to see highs tomorrow top out in the mid-50s. Saturday night, clouds are streaming right back in where they left off, so we're like today, and then the rain pushes in. But note, by uh, 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock on Sunday morning, we're already back in the upper 40s. So as that warmer air surges in, it will have some moisture with it, too, so you'll need the windshield wipers into Sunday morning. So here's 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock to 4. I'm stopping it right here just to show you the onset of where the rain starts at 5 in the morning from Laconia and across the lower Merrimack River Valley and down East Main. But this system is fairly weak, and as it's pushing in, it's actually starting to weaken even more. So the trend should be in our favor for a couple of showers at 7 o'clock in the morning on Sunday and then clearing out from there. Not totally clearing out. A few patches of light showers between uh, north central Central Worcester County, far western Middlesex County, and that's at about noon on Sunday. And then we're off to the races with a lot of fun there in Southie and also across Situate too. Any St. Patrick's Day festivities, I think Sunday evening and Sunday afternoon should be nice and dry for the most part. 55 for high in Lowell on Sunday, 57 for Boston, near 60. Look at that in Taunton and Dartmouth. So it's a very warm day. In fact, it's more April-like than it is mid-March-like. But we are dropping right back down. We are falling into spring. Spring starts at 11 o'clock on Tuesday night. 45 degrees on Tuesday, 50, though, on Monday. Monday is a dry day, and then we get right into spring with some spring-like warmth because, actually, this is closer to the norm, not so much 57 to 60 degrees. As good as it sounds, that's not normal for this time of year, and it seems like the pattern will change for a lot of the western U.S. and central U.S., too, with cooler-than-normal air very likely as we go through March the 22nd and March the 28th. But even then, for the northeast, uh, northeast I think our trend is to stay warmer than the norm. One or two days will drop down again next Tuesday near the average, but we're right back in the middle of the warmer sector of air next Wednesday and Thursday, trying to cool down into Friday and Saturday with a lot of clouds streaming in Friday and another chance of rainfall. If it's a weekend here in New England, you know there's very likely rainfall as well. We're taking a quick break here on NBC10 Boston. JC and Glenn are back after this.